Just trying to open up some space here. There we go. Alright. Time to get cutting, apparently, and hope I don't get sick. Uh, thankfully, I just took some immunity stuff. After our scare. Icebox, where? I need to perform autopsies for today's work. I need to put at least six organs into an ice box on the stage. Blood won't do. I'll take the blood. Oh, right. Speaking of which... I really have one of these around for the blood. That's the ice box, I guess. Or if I'm wrong, we'll find out when the quest doesn't update or something. There we go. Low chance to damage organ. If I want to make this... what? What? Where'd the organ go? I should use something with higher dirt. Let's use the rusty one. There it- okay, there it is. No, it just went gray, so I didn't see it. Heart. Yeah, let's not bother with the brains. I only have so much durability to run with. Alright, well, at least it's not using my supplies up. Oh, I, I, I've used up the rusty one now. This is definitely the downside, so one, two, three, four, five. One to go. A heart. Got it. Done with my shift for today. Tomorrow the fund will reward me, and new work will become available at the hospital. Okay, cool. <sighs> I get my stuff back. As far as I can tell, you can't right click to switch things between your two windows the way you can normally, which is a little frustrating. More dead items. They have their purpose. My exhaustion's this high already? That's 2 p.m. already. There is somebody left to treat. And I have a meter that I want to work on, so let's do this. Lucky you. There was no quota for treating people today, which actually means I'm more equipped to treat people. <laughs> fuck that. Whoa, really? I instantly identified the infection. Oh shit, I don't have what I need to treat you. I didn't think about that. I identified the infection immediately and I can't treat it. Uh... Shit. Yeah, I don't have pills. They didn't give me pills today. Well, if I find a white pill, I can come back and treat her. So I guess there's that. We're still trying to find infected organs. For my purposes. Let's get back to that. I want a heart. There we go. That infected heart will go nicely for my collection. Once I pick it off the floor. There we go. I don't think I've had a heart yet. I think I remember treating- you dealing with like blood... ...and... ...a liver? I think I used a healthy kidney and a diseased liver. But I don't think I've- I don't think I've made one with a heart yet. May need to make more visits to my house today. Fun has a reward for me. 
I already got the reward. Oh, is it gonna, it's gonna continuously say there's a reward as long as my items are still there. Alright. Pharmacy, clothes. Let's check the pharmacy. I might be able to find the white pill. And trade for it or something. Or, or I guess you have to buy it, don't you? But then I'm, before long I'm gonna want to head back to my house. But if I can, go to a clothing place along the way to buy the requirements to increase my inventory even more. Here's where I dropped stuff. It was coils. Yeah, I've got the space now. Because they were all even coincidentally the same item. I guess it's fitting that out, out front, in front of the pharmacy, is just a bunch of bodies piled up. You only have one hospital in the entire city, it's the next place you would try. I can get it. Yes! Oh shit, but don't go all in. Unless I'm trading them for drugs. Whatever I do, I have to make sure that this this is less than 1500 plus. I cannot empty out her well, I can empty out her money pretty easily, but I, I just have to be careful that uh, she has a cap. Nah, I gotta take one of the rings back. There we go. Yeah. So I was right about the rings, they're totally worth it. Shit. Is it not the same pill I have here? That's a different ferromycinium, damn it. Uh. Wait, you're a broken scalpel. Well, before I do that... Yeah, you'll take it. Okay. That's better than dumping it on the ground. And she has a little bit more money to take. There we go. At least this one person gets to live, I suppose. Mmm. I can actually fix this. Wait, isn't that supposed to be some, one of the things that improves my situation? Respect it here. There we go. I might have made a mistake there. I thought that was one of the things that, in, that improves your... your payment that day, too. Man, I have not found more water for a while. I'm just constantly running from stuff, so I can't even, like, f look for these half the time. So where's our stacks? I can carry, like, four more. I dropped one a moment ago, right? There you are. I still can't carry it, damn it! Because you can't... It's not full of water, so it's impossible to carry. Where am I? Oh, fuck. I'm not even in the street I thought I was in. I, w I thought I remember there being dialogue that said that if you fix stuff around the... That, that if you fix stuff like water pumps, that it also increases your standing for your daily allowance, basically. But then I looked at my meter and it didn't really look like it was that good, so maybe I'm wrong about that. You're gonna lose, aren't you? Calm 
These characters should not be allowed to be this goddamn fast. It's like they're cheating. Uh, some more stuff I can't carry. I didn't think it'd be this hard. What the? She was right here. Where the fuck did she go? <laughs> Whatever. I'm treating this person. <laughs> it's turning into so much stuff to, to juggle. I should go to any store I can and just trade in my items as much as I can. What the f You did not just randomly infect me. God damn it. Fuck, man. Particularly potent. God damn. Alright, well that pumped it up. I helped somebody. God damn, I can't get a break. I walk in here and that happens. Now this guy's here. Been to the pharmacy. I want to go to the clothing place, which is, of course, right past the guy. That's at least something. I'm out. Yeah, it's obviously. I want to go to the safe area, and then go south through there. This, these constant enemies are a drag, and also, the safe area will have people for to actually trade with. I thought that was one of those clearings. What are you doing? The sweet tabby I chose had no fur and no nose. On eight paws he would linger. On his tail was a stinger. So, have you seen my parents? How are they doing? Not yet. Then go, please, before it's too late. I know. Fucking busy, man. There's a lot of things asking for my time. Including my own basic ability to breathe. Marbles and thimbles. Now what? Something's wrong with this shop. Great, the one I'm checking out. God damn it. I'm trying to trade some of the stuff for food because I'm going to be in a food problem soon and my entire inventory is full. Despite its gargantuan size. Vlad? A wrong time. Hmm. To start this fight. Ah, Burak. You don't have a wife yet, of course, do you? Not anymore, but I used to. Neither do I. Not anymore. Surprising to find you in here, boss. I dropped by to check if everything's been executed exactly as I instructed. Why did I bother? Of course it was. Like anyone would dare disobey. Like anyone would. What'd you order someone to do here? They used to sell knickknacks and mementos here, long ago. That's where I met her. She was buying a brooch. We married the same year. It was fall, too. I returned here much later. How long was it? Eight years. 
They began selling meat. My meat, of course. Brooches. Who needs brooches? So was it your stop, shop? Everything is mine here. Undeniably. What should I do, Baruch? Should I repair the shop or leave it like this as a memento? <laughs> Let it stay the way it is now. The music's too good. In reality, who gives a shit? This whole place is gonna go down. Where is the shop? Is, the sh is there just not a shop? Did you rob me of shop? Why do you do these things to me, Vlad? You don't understand my needs? Alright, this is... There's no grocery here. Just a weird plot point event. There is a clothing store over there. I might as well visit the NPCs on the way in. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll even need an item. But of course I'll try to trade with every human I encounter along the way. Please, I, re I desire value. Ooh. That's only worth four. It's a fucked up lockpick. Of course both the things you have require five. Of course they do. Soap and fingernail. She always sells mystery packages, which is terrifying. Maybe it'll have a fucking schmatter in it. Maybe it'll have an actual piece of human feces. You never know. Loot boxes are great. Whoa. A bandage. How is my health these days? Not amazing, not great. Monomycinium. Thank you. Let's make this work. What do you value most? You like buttons? You like hazelnuts? Raisins? We're already at 23. Is nothing worth a 3 to you? Is everything worth awkward numbers? That's an 8. Two buttons. And bullets can be sold. Do I have a bullet stack already? Yeah, I do. I can turn that into money. Rhinestone. More hazelnuts. I'll try and spring for hazelnut, because somebody, there's people around here that value hazelnuts. And they can turn it into cooler stuff than you usually do. Ha. Ah. You can turn you into an immunity booster. There we go. I found the street that finally has a glut of people on it. It's been a big ask, apparently, for that to ever happen. Eight neo my eight for neomycinium. Yes. Actual goddamn drugs in this game about drugs. Who knew that one day my dreams could come true? You're gonna have a schmatter, aren't you, you little bastard? Nope. Just morphine. You like walnuts. I'm not treating you a ring for a morphine. I know how much they're worth. Don't care for marbles. And chalk. It's behind the goddamn wall again, isn't it? That's agony when that happens. Things are going alright-ish. It's honestly pretty relaxing to be... Oh, I just poured infected blood on it. Is that bad? Maybe not. I didn't even hear uh, flies for that one. Yeah, there's Yuria. Yulia.
It's surprisingly relaxing to just be like in an area that has no disease and no muggers. And I'm not usually dying that much anymore lately. From my meters. They're getting they're starting to become managed-ish. The best I can say, perhaps. Speaking of managing a meter. Things are worth five for you. Do I? And you like a raisin. Progress. Unfortunately not. I only have one hook once again. It's perpetually interesting playing a game that is itself an infinite exercise in decay. I don't know if I want to go for bandages and stuff right now, frankly. Like even your- like all your meters, you're just trying to- you're just- you have a furnace you're trying to fuel endlessly. Just jamming everything you can inside. No. Oh. They got him. God, I did not want to find out this place is infected again. We're looping already, huh? the only way in probably is motherfucker you're gonna guard that aren't you yeah all right so we're not going to that grocery visit the Saparovs and then hopefully the clothing store I want to pick up the remaining resources that I need Doorways open. Uh, immunity. I would like to say that it'll recover a bit while I'm talking, but it won't because when you're talking, time pauses. Upsides and downsides and all that, huh? Exhaustion's a problem. Do I have coffee? I lo somebody had coffee. I don't remember if I took it or not. More nuts. More drugs. There's my drug pile. There's my other drug pile, kind of. Yeah, more or less. In fact, these can go down here. Look at me. I have tinctures, I have herbs, I have medicines. I almost have some kind of operation here that makes sense. Perhaps. And I have six bullets. Well, it's time to wipe out the remaining of the remains of society. Alright. Fuck me. Alright. Hi. Populated in here, huh? Shut them up. Toughen up. Leave hesitation behind. It's our family's time. Ah, uh, yes, Burke. Just when I needed you. Although I actually needed you for another matter. I'll figure out what to do with this wretch myself. I suspect foul play. Since you're here, you may speak with him if you like. What other matter? I wish to talk to you alone. Make this troglodyte's acquaintance if you like, or simply wait. We can start as soon as I send off the convoy. Wait, I'll speak with him. Whoa, that's a face. Making faces here? Wait, isn't this- I think this is the same face that the drug- the chemist had. More or less. Who are you? I'm his son. Son. I can speak to a son. I'll answer to a son.
At the kin, we say there's no answer more honest than silence. And silence implies assent, doesn't it? Give me a break. Shrike, the militia, the militia boss, dragged me in here. He had it out for me for the past three years. Yes, I broke into the Cain's place. So? They don't need worldly things. The heavens sustain them. Why should I be treated like a murderer? The Canes? What do they have to do with this? Well, Simon Kane was old Burke's pal. The night I saw them parting near the crucible a few minutes past midnight, your father told him, I have three hours left, and you'll probably hold out for a bit longer. He must have known what fate awaited him. He knew who was going to murder him? True. It doesn't sound like they were talking about murder. More like both of them decided to die. Or maybe. I don't know. Maybe there was poison in their blood, and they only had a little time to left to live. How do you figure that? Look, this whole mess is none of my business, but your father knew that he had three hours left to live. I ended up talking about it once I'd had too much to drink, embellished a few things, and that's when Shrike took me in. Both of them were gone on that night, both your father and Simon Cain. So who killed them? Hell if I know, but it sure wasn't me. I was just passing by and overheard them talking, right? They sound like they planned it all from the start, get it? I do. Things got weird. That's 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 a new detail that was never established last game, I think. If it if it was true before. The man is not a murderer. Curiously, his evidence suggests Simon Kane knew that father was doomed beforehand. I'm, I'm not sure how much it diverged, actually. I think it was established that, that Old Burke and Simon Kane met with each other before uh, before they both died. But I don't know if there was straight up like a quote where they're like, We will die in three hours now. Ill-timed. What now? It's good you've come, Burke. We, receive, we require medical assistance, and this time I can't rely on that troublesome Denkovsky. Weren't you two getting along? He is too... rational for the problem at hand. Yeah, I know what you mean. My wife is very ill, Brooke. I'm not sure how to help her. What's wrong with her? She seems to be losing her mind. She... She's obsessed with... things. Strange things. Your wife considers herself a mistress. She's supposed to see things no one else does. Katarina believes she cares for our town as if she were some mystical ruler. She's delirious. I think she communicates with something, some being. What kind of being? I'm not used to speaking about these matters. My, ma my mind tells me she is imagining it, but at times I can hear it responding to her. Yet, when I enter her room, I find her sitting alone on the bed, and I can't muster the courage to speak to her. I understand. I'll examine her. Prophylaxis. Oh, he is in danger. Both of them are. Uh, I should probably keep the bones alive. I don't know about the nerves. No, so much. I'll keep the blood alive, I'll keep the bones alive. Above all else, I'll keep the list alive. I don't know if I can deal with the nerves. I don't know. I'm used to a lot of these characters, so they all feel kind of important. Like I shouldn't let any of them die. It's interesting because last game kind of... There was a specific plot point on a specific character that framed Anna, Eva, and Yulia like they were kind of disposable. And given this cast of characters, you can kind of see why they'd be the ones singled out. Everyone else is kind of pretty busy. Although if we were to think of other disposable characters, it'd actually be people from this list. 
a fair bit. Hmm. I believe I have some despair. Yeah. Try not to have the people running everything go go down. If I can avoid it, I suppose. Exhaustion's a problem. I might, I might have to go sleep on their couch. How embarrassing. How scandalous. 